Do you want to know the secrets of getting good at pool fast? Well, this video is going to cover just that. Let's check it out. Hey pool players, hey Ron here. Welcome once again to the Pool Student Channel and thank you so much for watching everyone. Hey, I want to give thanks to many of you that are watching this video today that have recently subscribed to the Pool Student Channel. I feel indebted to everyone that watches my channel, so today I wanted to put together a video that covers one of the most important aspects of this game, and that is the fundamentals. So now, let's delve into the mechanics and the execution of this very important feature of our game. To me, there are two key elements within our fundamentals. Number one is the setup. And number two is the stroke. Now before I get into the stroke and all about that, let's look at how we step into the line so we can set up our foundation for the shot. Now here I've got some tape on the floor and I'm showing you the line of the uh, object ball from the cue ball into the pocket. Notice how I keep my right foot on the inside of the line and then I step away from the line with my left foot as well to clear my arm with my body. Once again, I step into the shot. I want to stay away from getting too close to the line where my arm is going to interfere with my body. Now I'm on the line and I take the shot. Okay, now that we know how to step into the shot, what do we do when we're down? Okay, first thing I want to make sure of is I'm in the right position with my grip hand and my grip hand is super, super important. I want to be real loose with it. I don't want to be clinching this grip hand. I don't want to have any tension in it at all. I basically hang the cue from three fingers and a thumb. It's just loose. This is super, super important, everyone. So now we're down on the shot. I'm, my hand is in the right position so that I'm at what I feel is my close to my 90. In other words, 90 degrees from my forearm to the floor or, or almost 90 on my upper arm to my lower arm. When I'm on the shot too, I wanna to be kinda of low on the cue. I don't wanna be touching it. I like to be up just a little bit, a few inches. And I wanna be close to the cue ball with my tip when I'm at a dress. If I'm back here too far, and I think I have a 90 back here on my arm, that means by the time I deliver the cue to the cue ball, I'm beyond 90, so I'm reaching for the cue ball. And this can cause issues where the cue might veer from one side to the other, for me, and that's not a good thing. So I wanna be close to the cue ball when I'm addressing it. I take a couple of feathers, And then I look, I'm looking at the cue ball where my tip position is, and I'm looking back up at the, at the object ball, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then finally I look at the object ball, I pull back. I actually have a slight hesitation. It's not a pronounced hesitation, but it's a smooth transition. I want to stress that. It's got to be smooth. You cannot jerk back at the ball. So I come back, and I shoot and hold. Super important to follow through and have no recoil as well. Here is the actual setup, walking into the shot, getting down on the ball, lining it up, and stroking through it. Nice and controlled. Another thing that I will do is I will get over the edge of the table like this where the felt meets the wood on the rail and I'll use that line to make sure that I'm stroking straight. Believe it or not what makes this straightness happen is the grip pressure. So as you try this just realize that if you start to grip the cue too firmly you will not be able to follow that nice straight line. Now here I want to talk about what is super important, and that is the bridge. Now here I'm using an open bridge, and notice how I flare my thumb up and create a V. 
and I really want to be real stable with my hand. It's got to be firm to the table. And now here I'm using a closed bridge, but once again, it's got to be super stable. I make sure that my the fat of my thumb in my palm there is embedded right onto the table. I want to make sure that I'm nice and planted. Can't stress it enough. If we have a flimsy bridge, we will miss shots. Super, super important. I remember a friend of mine talking about a lesson that he took from Earl Strickland and Earl was adamant about that. Now here I use a bottle, and I frowned on a bottle early on when I first heard about this, but once I started using one, I realized, wow, this is so important. It teaches us to have that super loose grip, and also it works on our bridge. So we have an open and a closed bridge that I just showed you. And notice how I stroke into that bottle with, with, uh, you know, with firmness, like I'm shooting a shot. That's another important thing. Now here, another thing I do is I'll actually simulate like I'm going over top of a ball. I use an actual ball, and I create what's what I call is a tripod. Notice how I bend my fingers under, the, the middle fingers are under, and my outer two fingers act as a type of stabilizer. This is super important and it really does do a nice job. Without any stability, we cannot really execute a shot, especially when we're over top of the ball, like in this case. Notice here that I'm showing you how loose my grip is. I'm basically just holding onto the cue just enough with just three fingers and a thumb, just enough to control it, but keeping it very loose. What you'll notice when you keep a loose grip is you'll have a lot more action on your cue ball, especially on draw shots, but also you'll have more consistency with your accuracy on pocketing shots. Now I want to finish off with something that's probably the most important aspect of our fundamentals, and that is the actual motion of the stroke. Notice there how I jerk at the cue ball. We do not want to do that. We want to have a very smooth transition and a nice controlled forward motion. So here is the actual shot. Notice how I pull back and I'll have a nice little, a bit of a hesitation and then I push through the cue ball and hold with a nice follow through. And here it is again. So I wanted to leave you with this. This is like I say, the most important aspect of our game is our stroke. Keep it straight and keep it smooth. I hope this video was of help to everyone. If you guys have any comments, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to the channel. I want to build a nice coalition of great pool players here that want to learn and share ideas. So once again, everyone, thanks for watching and keep on practicing.